In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in martyrdom have brought true faith to its highest expression, graciously grant that strengthened through the intercession of Saints John Fisher and Thomas More, we may confirm by the witness of our life the faith we profess with our lips. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abram was very rich in livestock, silver and gold. Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents, so that the land could not support them if they stayed together. Their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. Their quarrels between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and those of Lot's. At this time, the Canaanites and the Perizzites were occupying the land. So Abram said to Lot, Let there be no strife between you and me, or between your herdsmen and mine, for we are kinsmen. Is not the whole land at your disposal? Please separate from me. If you prefer the left, I will go to the right. If you prefer the right, I will go to the left. Lot looked about and saw how well watered the whole Jordan plain was as far as Zoar, like the Lord's own garden, or like Egypt. This was before the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot, therefore, chose for himself the whole Jordan plain and set out eastward. Thus they separated from each other. Abram stayed in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities of the plain, pitching his tents near Sodom. Now the inhabitants of Sodom were very wicked, and in the sins they committed against the Lord. After Lot had left, the Lord said to Abram, Look about you, and from where you are, gaze to the north and south, east and west. All the land that you see I will give to you and your descendants forever. I will make your descendants like the dust of the earth, if anyone could count the dust of the earth, your descendants too might be counted. Set forth and walk about in the land through its length and breadth, for to you I will give it. Abraham moved his tents and went on to settle near the terebinth of Mamre, which is at Hebron. There he built an altar to the Lord. The word of the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor 
by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent? He who does these things shall never be disturbed. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. These teachings of Jesus are hard for modern ears because um, we have a little bit of a problem. Um, we want things to be easy. That's that's a problem of modernity because things have been easy. <laughs> We can go on Amazon and order things real quick, and it comes to our door. I think now they even have drones that fly our Amazon packages. Um, and, I mean, come on. That's really easy. Um, we have refrigerators, and we have freezers, um, things that n- people in history have never had the opportunity to have. The, the amount of easiness that we have in life is completely different than the history of humanity. And it makes it hard for us to be successful. It makes it easy in some ways, but really hard for us to be successful in the things that really matter. See, Jesus says these things not because he wants us to, um, he wants to make the faith unattainable, he says these things because he wants us to succeed. Every uh, four years, I love watching the Olympic trials. Have you ever been watching the Olympic trials and then the Olympics? I mean, it, they do such a good job of giving the backstory of people. That's why it's really successful and popular. And what they do is they, they, they give you an insight into what these people have had to do in order to get to this point in their life where they're this good at their craft, at their sport. You realize that there's a lot of sacrifices that had to be made. You don't just come out running a sub 10 second 100 meter, right? You don't throw a 12 pound ball that far without having done certain things throughout your life, having made sacrifices. See, the road that leads to destruction is wide, but the narrow is the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. Being successful is hard. See, Jesus is saying this because he he wants us to make the sacrifices and form our life so that we can be successful. Because it's easy to be normal. It's easy to be like the world. One that particularly stands out as uh, people don't get, like why would Jesus say this? Do not give what is holy to dogs or throw your pearls before swine. 
lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. He doesn't say this because he doesn't want people to uh, receive the truth. He wants the, to, them to receive the truth successfully. And in our context matters. He wants you to be successful evangelizers. He wants people to, when they hear the truth, they're able to accept that that means being prudent of when we give the truth. So it, like, like you don't give a pearl to a swine because they're like, oh, this isn't food. They just trample it and throw it away. So the great truths of the faith or the sacraments, let's say that. Maybe the Lord's talking about the sacraments, the Eucharist. Everyone doesn't receive the Eucharist, not because... God doesn't want them to. It's because we have to be in a certain situation in our life to receive it worthily, for it to be effective. You know, I see people um, like these guys sometimes, like I'll be, you know, at a wedding in New Orleans and, and, and the rehearsal dinner is somewhere in the quarter and I'm walking through the quarter and there's a guy with like a, a, a megaphone and a sign and he's like, you know, you're a sinner, repent. And I'm like, do you? has that ever worked? Like, I don't understand. Does that ever, has that ever once where I literally walked up to the guy once and I was like, we, like, is this successful? It seems to me in those situations that he's doing that more for himself to make himself feel good, to make himself feel, maybe he's, there's some kind of projection thing. I don't know, but, but how this Apply this, what Jesus says to that situation. Do not cast pearls before swine. No, he does accept the prodigal son, but he says, get out of the mire before you I put on the, uh, the new clothes. Or get out of the mud before I put on new sandals. The woman caught in adultery, he says, stand and sin no more. Right? Who is here to condemn you? So we have to make sure that we call people to a certain standard so that when they receive the truth, they receive it fruitfully. Please stand for our intercessions. We pray for Pope Francis, our Holy Father here on earth, for Michael, our bishop, and successor of the apostles, and our connection to the apostolic faith. We pray for our ability to follow them uh, faithfully and for their ability to lead. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who seem to us to be far from the faith, um, to be um, in the, the mire, in the mud, that we can accompany those who seem far so that we can walk with them back to the truth, so that, that evangelization may be fruitful. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick, who suffer with suffering, whether it be physical or, or mental, that they may offer their sufferings up to Jesus, attach them to his cross, that they may bear fruit in their lives and the lives of those they love. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all our students and our Vacation Bible School, um, that it be a fun time, but also insightful and, and a time of encounter um, with the scriptures, with the salvation history. We also pray for the families, the parents who are dropping them off, that it might not be just a, um, a time to, to give these parents a, a break, but that the parents might be encouraged to uh, bring their children to Mass, uh, to the Eucharist on Sundays. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all government officials that they may lead with wisdom and courage in the truth and serve people um, in the dignity of human life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died, especially those who, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we place before you the prayers of your church. We are confident you will answer them according to your holy will and for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. So be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sacrifice in my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from the sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. There's two things happening uh, this evening. Uh, we have Margaret's men, my last Margaret's men meeting, just reading scripture uh, and then uh, sharing a meal of guys in the parish. Uh, Randy Wagasback, um, who is our deacon candidate, will be cooking. I think jambalaya, coleslaw, and someone's bringing a dessert. Uh, that's at 6 p.m. And then we have a young adult uh, meeting tonight. We're watching A Man for All Seasons, which is about St. Thomas More's life. Very great movie, 1966. Um, I think it's one of the best movies ever. I think it's top 500 movies um, in history. Uh, so that's the young adult group. So um, basically grace, I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> bring, bring, uh, bring your friends. Um, the Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Be to God.